Hey, how you doing? The name is Cat Dad's Things, and it's time for Super Adventure Box. If you don't know, it's the retro festival for Guild Wars 2. And here's some tips to get you started if you haven't played it before. Super fun. To the left, as soon as you go in, you will find our vendors. There's quite a bit of cosmetics in there, of course. Most of it do be retro themed because, hey, that's the point, right? It's a retro themed festival. But if you like chasing vanity, there are actually a ton to farm out in this festival. You can spend loads of hours getting the dailies, getting the currencies, going through all this stuff and getting it. Of course, there are some ways to make some gold as well, but we'll go in and we'll uh, touch on that later. It's hard not to love the look. Really, it's, it, it's hard just to not fall in love with it. The style, the environment, and the music, it's all really incredible. Anet did a great job in making this festival. Nice. So get in there with good quality sound and enjoy. After you're done playing around with the vendors, you go through the, the main path and you go off to the right, you hit World 1, where you start in the very first zone. Of course, that's the beginning of everything. You go up and you talk to this old chap and you begin in Zone 1. I never finished it all myself because I usually end up replaying the first one for the rewards and, and other things like that. I'm, I'm farming gold, but don't judge me because that's besides the point. I'm not lazy, I swear. I'll get to it. I'm going to make progress this year, I promise. Anyway. I don't really want to spoil anything, so I won't show too much of inside the zones and how they look. I mean, not like a full playthrough at least, more of an overview, what to expect, what you can do. And once you get inside, you change your gear set, so to speak. You have festival specific items that you can start with, and some that you have to purchase with our currency, the bauble. Get baubles to buy different zany items, or of course, to make gold with. Your target for the zone is to fight the boss at the end, just like in retro games. Who knew, right? Any hoozy. There are of course speed challenges you can do to increase the maximum amount of bobblage, bobblage, bobblage that you receive, so it's good to go fast, sometimes. That's all fine and dandy, but Cat Dad, if you're new, how can you have super adventure fun without knowing where to super adventure? No worries, just like a friend that betrays you, I got your back. Let's do this, you goofy goobers. So you go to the big M button to the map, you scroll all the way out, and you see on here, if you don't have everything explored, you can explore it in your own time, but you look here at the Tarnished Coast, you go all the way down to the Ratasum, the giant cube type thing that you see on the map. Go to this court, I'm not gonna try to say that name. Check the waypoint, you go there. Hey, look, I'm already there. So once you pop here, you see this little portal, and boom, bam, there it is, portal to Super Adventure Box. Alternatively, if you so wish or inclined to, you can use the invitation to the party, but you only get this after you've gone to every festival, you get a little piece that they give you, combine them together, and boom, bam, you have this port. That's how you get there. Finally, we get to the point where we get that delicious, sweet, cold yellow metal we call gold. Nothing too complex, really. Just make your way on over to the vendors here, and you go up to this person here, you talk to them, they have all this stuff, but you want to find a spot that says bobble refinement, because you get the little singular bobbles as you go through the adventure pretty easily. They drop everywhere all the time, and you take 250 of them, you get a bobble bubble. So what you can do with that bobble bubble, as you take them, you go to this person here, and you can buy certain things with them. Amalgamated gemstones, mystic coins, legendary shards if you want, amalgamated draconic, 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 I think it's draconic, lodestones, you can use them as well. This I haven't bought before, I'm not really sure what's in there, so you might want to try it out. So the dra draconic lodestone, um, it does cost a lot. I mean, compared to the others, it does cost a lot. These, not so much. So you kind of have to play the market a little bit, see what how much this is, see how much this is, and see how much this is and just decide what you want to buy. There are only a certain amount that you can buy per day, per week, or, you know, there's there's limits on it. So you want to kind of use them sparingly, but that's an, a way you can make extra gold while doing this activity. One last thing to add to this, you don't want to forget to check your dailies. You go to the achievements, you go to daily, you find the daily super adventure festival, click on it, and it gives you some rewards that you can get from doing all these little dailies. A lot of them are bobbles, so you can fun funnel that into the gold if you so wish or if you go into doing the actual daily, you see here there's a box of Super Adventure box goods and you get coins, fancy furniture coins, crimson assassin tokens. You, you do get baubles from this as well, but um, that helps with like more rewards and like more vanity and stuff like that that you can gain from it as well. So that's all I have for the video today. Just a couple quick tips about the super fun adventure palooza. Woohoo, yeah, time. So thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Later. Mm -hmm.